developing your marketing plan, you need to be specific to your targeted market. Even when you're developing your operational plan, you need to know how you're going to operate, how you're going to set up. Because you might set up for a different market to only find that your market, the market that you are targeting, is behaving differently. They might not like your, your product or your settings the way you are, you, you are selling to them. So you need to understand the, those concepts so that you are able to service the market the way it wants to be serviced. Good day, welcome to our lesson market segment. My name is Malusi Mahed. Okay, the lesson for today is about identifying the, the market segment that you will service as an entrepreneur or as a, as a business or the, the, the market segment that you are servicing. So we're going to go into detail in terms of how do you identify that segment and how do you, how do you service it. So then when you're talking market segment is where an entrepreneur is identifying a specific market that they're going to service. So when you say a specific market is they look at the trade, the trades and the behavior of a certain market and the needs of that market. And you develop a product or a service that would meet the needs of the market that you're targeting. So it's very, very important for you to understand the market segment that you're targeting so that you can develop your product and services to meet the needs of that market. Okay, in identifying your, your market segment, you need to follow maybe a certain process to say, one, which market do you want to service? Remember, you can't be everything to everyone. You need to choose your market. Like RMK, we've, we've, we're in training, but we're not training on everything. We're more focused on business training. So that's the market segment that we have identified as an opportunity for us. So even for you as a, as, a, as a business, you need to identify a specific market that you want to service. And maybe I'll give an example from our case study, like your McDonald's. If you look at it from the case study, they are servicing a specific market. It's not a dining market or sit-down market. It's a fast food market. They identify, they're all selling food, but they've decided that they're going to sell food to a specific market. They're not going to sell all the food. They are just focused on the burger and chips and maybe other products and burger, chips and drink. That's the, their main product that they are, they are servicing. Yes, they could have decided to sell steak and sushi and all those things, but they've decided to focus on a specific target market. So even for you, when you set up in your business, make sure that you understand your market. Make sure that you have targeted specific market but it's important for you to understand the size of the market the behavior of that market the culture in that market so that one you don't choose a market segment that is too small and then as well you don't want to be a, a general dealer where you're just servicing everyone in the certain market segment so you need to choose your your market carefully it's like in retail you have a re a retail stores that are servicing different segments. You have a Woolworths, which is servicing the high end. You have the checkers that's servicing uh, the market below the Woolworths, maybe. And then you have the maybe the, the spa and the pick and pay that's servicing a different market. And then you have the shop right you save that's servicing maybe the lower end market. So these people are selling more or less the same products. But in terms of the segmentation, they've segmented their markets in terms of the customers that they are, they are servicing. Yes, beef is beef. But you have a Woolworths beef, which is more expensive, but obviously in terms of the service and the, this free range, or so-called free range. And you have the checkers market. If you go into a checkers, the environment is a little bit different from when you go into you save because most of the time, okay, not all the time, but you find that the you save is a little bit dirty, it's not uh, packed nicely. But if you go into checkers, there's a little bit order there. So it's because of the market segments that they are they are servicing. So even for you, for your business, make sure that you understand the market that you you servicing and how to service it. Because how Woolworths is servicing its market is different from how you save is servicing its market. Cheap affordable 
product that you save but if you look at Woolworth in certain product expensive but the quality tends to be better than the one that you get from you save so that's now when you look at the market segmentation and going back to our case study if you look at uh, AEY in terms of their market segmentation they're not tendering for all uh, tenders that you can get they've uh, segmented their market they are going for a defense contract they're just focusing on tendering for a defense contract and they build their skills around the defense contract and tendering for that and build their relationship and the supply chain in that space yes they attend this the market is there market segment is tendering but they identify a specific segment that they are targeting so even for you as an entrepreneur make sure that you segment your market and you understand the different markets that you you will be servicing and as well sometimes you service individuals and some they service corporates some they service government some they service maybe a international market like exports so even in our app we have uh, split the the market segmentation to say if you are targeting individuals it's different in terms of how you service you service them compared to how you service the corporate and how you service the corporate is different private corporate is different to how you service the government obviously when you service the individuals you need to know who's the buyer who's your target market are you servicing kids in the in that space are you servicing unemployed are you servicing employed are you servicing male are you servicing females so even in the individual market there is a split to say which market segments sub segments within that broader market am i servicing am i going for rural areas am i going for urban areas am i going for high end am i going for low end so those are the different segmentation that you need to look at and decide which market you're going for so that you don't just service everyone and you end up uh, spread in spreading yourself thin instead of specializing in a certain market segment like when servicing government it's a the, the 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 procurement process is the tender system you need to understand the process how do you how do you tender how do you submit bids so but if you're interested in that market we we have a a, a lesson on how to tender to win business check out that lesson how you you service that specific market in terms of tendering and then so you need to understand the different market segments that you're servicing decide on the segment that you're going to target make sure that you develop your brand around the market develop your operation around that market and develop your value proposition to that specific market because different market segments require different value propositions and when you when you're deciding on the market segment that you'll be servicing or the customers when you're talking market segment we're talking customers that you are you will be servicing or you you are currently servicing or you might be planning to service you need to make sure that you know how you target them are you going for a geographic location are you going for a uh, social traits for for certain the certain behaviors that uh, your, your your products or the social norms like your woolworth is for the high end you look at the 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 area you can okay you can i guess put a woolworth in a rural area but it's more suitable for a you save so if you're looking at the geographic area look at the type of demographics that are within that area so that you can know how to pitch your product do you pitch it at the high end or are you putting it at, at the at the low end or the middle so you need to look at the geographic you look at the demographics and look, also look at the social behavior of your your mic the market that you you service in. and sometimes you also look at the behavioral response so sometimes in a certain market they require certain brands they are loyal to certain brands you might find that certain area they like your 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 nike they like your cavella and in certain areas they just like your simple clothes so you need to know the demographics and their social uh, structure in terms of how how your market behave so that when developing your marketing plan you need to be specific 
to your targeted market. Even when you're developing your operational plan, you need to know how you're going to operate, how you're going to set up. Because you might set up for a different market to only find that your market, the market that you are targeting, is behaving differently. They might not like your, your product or your settings the way you are, you, you are selling to them. So you need to understand the, those concepts so that you are able to service the market the way it wants to be serviced. Okay, now going back to our, our case studies, we, you're going to listen to case studies on, on the McDonald's uh, movie, the um, AEY and the Oakland A's. So in terms of the demographics that they are, they are servicing or the market segments that they are focusing on, you can see that for uh, AEY, the focus is on the defense con. They segmented that market. And then for McDonald's, it's fast food market, people who want to have their meal in the go. And then for AUI, it's the locals, because it's, a, it's from Auckland, it's supported by, by, by the Auckland. Now, enjoy the video, then we'll discuss the, the case studies after. Market study provides insight into a wide variety of things that impact your bottom line, including where your target audience and current customers conduct their business, which of your competitors looks for information, options, or purchases, What's trending in your industry and in the eyes of your buyer? Who makes up your market and what their challenges are? What influence purchases and conversations have among your target audience? McDonald's brothers failed to conduct market study when they started in arcading and they realized after opening that the market was too small. They were lucky they had significant funds to relocate the operation and it was funded from their operations by themselves. It did not involve external funding. You may have not have reserve funds to re-establish yourself if you fail. Do all you can to avoid and limit failure where possible. David started a sheet business without market study and he couldn't sell any of them because the market was not willing to pay for quality bed sheets for old people. He now had boxes and boxes of sheets and he didn't know what to do. Be cautious. Invest the minimum you can until you have proven the market. Pete's market analysis was on the money. He used deep historical data. Pete's stats has put the Oakland A's in a much better position given its budget. The research information made the Oakland A's super efficient and compete with more competitors than that were better resourced. Proper market study will give you an understanding of inefficiency in the sector. Complete the assignment. Compare how the topic is addressed in the three movies and rank them according to your preference on how the characters and the organization start with the topic and motivate your ranking. One being the best and three the worst. Analyze this topic and its applicability to your situation and industry. Write up your analysis to meet the requirement of the industry you're operating in. Update the relevant section in your business plan. You can see from the case studies that McDonald's success is them having segmented their market, targeting a specific market and developing a business model around the market that they are servicing. So they went from, okay, it's a 15 cent beggar. Okay, then, I mean, it was a 15 cent beggar. Therefore, they were targeting more the low end. It's not a, a fine dining type of customers or market segment. They were fo focusing on, on, on the go. People who want to just get, grab something quickly to eat. And they developed the system to perfect that. And they removed all the other riffraffs and all the other nice things that were on their menu, they focus on the burger, the fries, and the, the drink. That's all that they did. They removed all the other things that the meat, the ribs, and sushis, and all those other things that normally a restaurant will sell. Then they focus on this, they develop a system that will focus specifically on, on this market segment. They didn't worry about people who want to go out and go sit and have fine dining. It's not their target market. Even though they're selling food, takeaway, so they focus on, on that market of takeaway. So that's how you build success for, for your business. You segment your market. You understand the specific market that you're targeting. AUI, focus on the defense contract. That's it. They didn't want to tender for other things. They didn't try to get involved in different tenders. They identified the market. The market was big enough. But with the tenders, uh, it might be a challenge because you might, if you focus on certain tenders, 
call it, the market might not be big enough. So you need to make sure that the market that you are targeting is big enough to meet your strategic goals for, for that you have set for your business. So you mustn't, even though we say you must focus, but it mustn't be too narrow. It must also take into account the size of the market that you're looking for. And then, and on AEY, uh, on, on the Oakland A's, we know the, the focus was on, it was local, it was a small baseball team. It focused on the local, the clients where the clientele was the local people. And they didn't have a big budget to buy uh, superstars. They found a way to service that market by finding cheaper players who are overlooked by uh, their baseball sporting fraternity and they identify they found a system that will help them identify those players that are undervalued and they operate like that and they were successful and then they they beat the best teams in terms of the the records that they they managed to break by ne not necessarily spending but understanding their their situation their market that they are servicing their budget then they came up with a the structure that works for the Oakland A's and they were successful and they break they broke the records that stood for many years but not by spending by looking at the players that the other uh, teams are ignoring but that comes from you them understanding the market segment that they wanted to service yeah that was the, our, our lesson on the market segment you can go into our website and uh, read the, the handbook on the market segmentation for for more details but that's overall you need to understand the market segment segment it target the specific market develop your operations and the business model to service that specific market and even your marketing initiatives must be focused on that specific market that you you have segmented you can't be everything to everyone focus on your market stay in your lane make sure that you service that market to the best of your ability and that's where the success come from. You can see from McDonald's, you can see from AEY, you can see from the Oakland A's. They focus on their segmented market and they were successful in those. I thank you.